Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boysell here. If you're on this video, it's because you need help with your website portfolio. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how we go in depth, how we actually make a portfolio that stands out and brings you clients. That's the goal of a portfolio, is to bring you clients. So if you're ready to get into it, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, the first step you need to be thinking about is the inspiration. Where are you getting your inspiration from for your portfolio? Now, I have a lot of people that inspire me. I'll show you just a couple of them here. My first one that I really love is Just Creative. I gotta give Jacob Cass a shout out. If you look at his portfolio, it's absolutely beautiful. His whole website is beautiful. You can see here, he has it separated by Rock the Boat, Big, Vitra, Primitive, right? These different brands, Island Smiles but my all-time favorite, look at that nice little pop-up there, but my all-time favorite is Tremeyev, Geismer, and Haviv. If you don't know who Sagi Haviv is, he's got, Haviv is, he's got an amazing course on um, Domestica, you should check that out. But I love their portfolio better than everybody's because they have the biggest brands, they have the best brands, they have some pretty incredible logos that they've done, ranging from very different styles, from minimalist to more modern. So I wanted to kind of use this as my inspiration. So this is your first step when it comes to design designing and creating your beautiful portfolio is making sure you have a great inspiration point. Don't pull from your competitor. Don't pull from some random person that you think has some cool, fancy, tricky. Just keep it simple. That's why I like these guys. That's why I like Jacobs. That's why I like Jermaev or Chermaev. It's really important to just keep it simple. So we did our portfolio and we kept it very simple. If you look here, did the same thing. We have Garden of Eaton, the Mickey Mouse Club, WeTip.com, NorCal Enduro, My Hobby Garage, Crunchy Cottage, Club Nirvana, Rizzo Meats, all these great portfolios. Now this is the first piece to creating a great for portfolio is using the brand as the focal point. This is what I wanna show you is identity. So with your identity, you wanna focus on the brand identity. This is what people are going to notice and recognize before anything else. You could put a mock-up of a cool sign on a window or a cool business card, but the mock-ups just really take away from the focus of what the design is supposed to be about, the logo itself, and then the rest of it you can go in depth when you click onto each logo. And I'm gonna show you that here just as an example. So when I say going in depth, which is the third eye, I want you to go in depth. So we have a nice header image here with the logo at the top. And then when you see here at the right hand side, we have the client. What are they known for? Who are they? And actually linking over to their website. Then we use our mock-up. So this is their website mock-up of what they currently have. And we were looking at doing their website. Um, then you have their packaging mock-up with the sticker design that I did there, the circle sticker design. And we show here exactly what we did. Logo design, building graphics, banners, and social media graphics. You can see here, here's another graphic that we made, nice and clean and minimalistic. And that one's pretty simple. If I go back here and show you another one, we've got some that we've gone really in depth with. Like a good one would be um, probably this Mickey Mouse Club. Let me show you this one. This is great. Why? Because it's Christmas. Nice header banner. Again, you can see here, we got a video portfolio at the top, along with the Mickey Mouse Club and who they are, linking over to their site, what the problem was, what the solution is that we provided. And then you can see here the mock-up of their album cover that we did. I actually did this myself, along with the other parts of their album that they had with the pictures of the whole team and all the fonts. It was a really beautiful project. Now, I can go more in depth than this uh, as I were to create more projects and do more stuff. Another good example would be WeTip. Show you in depth, nice header image powered by Catapult EMS. Again, a video explainer that we did at the top who they are, when they were established, what the problem was, what the solution is, the services that we provided, their business card mock-up, their website mock-up that we did, some banner and signage design mock-up or trade show booth mock-up, right? So I'm going in depth in each of these and I'm not cutting corners. Each of these has a really good SEO ranking. So we tip web, web marketing or we tip marketing portfolio. And you see here, all of my stuff is SEO friendly. All the images have been named. You can see here, we tip booth. So we've done this for every single project within ours. Now, you can look at our inspiration of where we pulled this from. Let's go to the US Open. We modeled this after their stuff. Now they're filling in the whole screen. They put a little bit more of a blurb than we did about the program, but they structured theirs a little bit differently than ours. You can see their sign mock-ups, fills up a lot of the space. But you can see it also loads a little bit slow. So this is, I think, really important for you to acknowledge is to look at the portfolio that you have and be able to lay this out appropriately. Now, we wanted to do something kind of cool and different. I'm very into the checkered patterns and so is Tremeyev. If you look, go back to their portfolio, to the main page, you can see they do the tiled checkered pattern as well. So dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, right? Checkered pattern. So that's the same thing that we followed here on our portfolio that I think would be good for you. You can see here, Crunchy Cottage is another really great example of a portfolio that we did. Done a ton of stuff for them. So you can see your website, 
client, what the problem was, what the solution is, business card mock-up, label design, more packaging design, another label design, photography, right? We've done a ton of stuff and you can keep adding to this as time goes on and making this more and more in depth and explain about the photography, explain more about the label and the background behind that. The more in depth you go, the more valuable your portfolio is gonna be. And the more time you spend on this, the more it's gonna be attractive to a client. They can see that you put a lot of time and effort into this. It's very similar to what I've talked about in the past with Behance and doing your website portfolio or your online portfolios and things like that. So this is what I wanna show you guys. I think there's an opportunity for you guys to actually really scale up your portfolios, take the time, don't shortcut this as a creative, as an agency owner. This is where the clients are gonna see your social proof of the actual work that you can do. You can have video testimonials out of the wazoo of people saying great things about you. But if you're not showcasing your work the right way, you're gonna really limit the amount of business that you can get. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, making a beautiful website portfolio that looks clean. You get your inspiration. You go deep into the identity of what you did and what all the problems, who the client was, what the problem was, what your solution was, the services that you provided. Make sure you go super in depth into the identity of that and make sure you go to in depth into the SEO too, because this stuff can rank on the Google search engines and drive you a ton of business. So if you have any questions on that, drop a comment down below in the video. I would love to hear how do you like your portfolio? What do you think of my portfolio? Tear me apart if you want. I'm totally open to feedback. I'm always looking for ways to improve my agency, prove my work and just get better better overall as an entrepreneur. So if that's you, introduce yourself down below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I'm Adrian Boysell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.